Hello, you're Andrew Putnis. Hi. So you're a professor at the Institute of Mineralogy, part of the University of Munster in Germany. That's right, yeah. And um, can you tell us a little bit about your field of research? Well, right now I'm actually trying to be a petrologist. Okay. So I work on fluid mineral interactions and rocks and metamorphic petrology, which is all quite new to me. It's a bit late to start learning something completely new, but uh, I started off actually doing physics uh -huh. in Australia and had a first degree in physics and became a school teacher. And uh, I sort of fell in love with geology. I think I fell in love with my wife who was doing geology actually. <laughs> so she was doing geology when I was doing physics. Yes. And so um, I didn't really want to stay a school teacher the whole time. So when we moved to London, I started doing geology again. So I had another first degree uh -huh. and I thought I had an inbuilt tutor who could um, have the books because he didn't have much money. And then it sort of moved on from there. I went to Cambridge and did a doctorate there. We then moved into very much sort of solid state mineralogy and uh, stayed there for 25 years. Okay. And the best thing that happened to me actually is, is moving. That in mid-career to move to Germany yes. gave me many more opportunities and I started moving into mineral surfaces and fluids and that okay. took me into more earth science type problems. So. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How long have you been in Germany now? Fifteen years now. Fifteen years, okay. okay. So it's, a, it's a nice environment I like. I like working there. Yeah. It's not as famous as Cambridge, <laughs> but it's um, yeah. in many ways it's a nice place to work. So you've had a diversified career. So mm. what was the most exciting? Actually, I think the most exciting was getting the job in Germany. Really? Um, but there are a lot of exciting things that happen. I guess you're the first papers you write, you know, mm. and having a book published, you have all these little excitements. Um, mm -hmm. Getting a permanent job is quite something. <laughs> yes, in science it yeah, is. So yeah, so I think yeah, it's yeah. been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, it's great just to be able to follow your curiosity. You know? mm -hmm. And so from that point of view, I think we're very lucky to have the job we have. Mm -hmm. And what did you least enjoy in your career? I've never been very good at administration and things like that. If, Tables of finance has just leave me completely cold. I, I, I don't like that. Yes. Um, I think it's, uh, you have a mix of research students. Sometimes you have really good ones and sometimes you have ones that aren't getting on. That can be quite difficult. Uh -huh. What else did I least enjoy? Oh, I don't know if I, I mostly enjoyed most things, I think. Really? I didn't least, in, least enjoy. No, I think I've, I've been lucky, actually, I think. Good, good. So if you still had another 40 years, what would you do? Forty years. You, t you mean until I'm a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, actually, I think I'd, write, I'd like to do something different. When I see how the field's emerging, if I think if I stayed in it, I'd get overtaken. So I, th I think I'd like to be a painter. Oh, okay. And start something different. Okay. It's a kind of a romantic idea that. Okay. It's, it's probably silly. <laughs> oh, that's nice as well. I mean, do something different. For yeah. A while. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're definitely into exploring new horizons. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, exploring as well would be interesting. When in, in Australia, everybody's exploring for ore deposits, mm. and that can can get under your skin too. That could be quite fun mm -hmm. using geochemistry in a very practical way. Okay. Okay. So it'd be good to have all these things as hobbies. Everything's a bit of a hobby, really, okay. and that's the nice thing about this kind of job. You you do your hobbies. Mm, indeed. So, what advice would you give to young researchers? Yeah, that's quite difficult. I think, well, obviously you have to work hard. But I think it's a good idea to move. You know, people who uh -huh. just stay in one country all the time are never as attractive in terms of employment as someone who's been somewhere and done a doctorate somewhere else and done a postdoc somewhere else and has built up experiences in different countries, in different labs. Yes. They get a, a broader idea about what's going on okay. than people who sort of... And of course, mobility is not that easy. Nowadays, you know, people have partners and it's mm. a bit more complicated. But in an ideal situation, I think, mm. moving around and meeting is... You have to meet people, you know, you've got to get lucky to get a job. Mm. Mm -hmm. And getting lucky means sometimes knowing the right people. That's how, mm. unfortunately. Yes, that can be true. Yeah. So, Andrew, you were actually part of the EAG Council up until about four years ago. How do you perceive um, the EEG has changed and maybe where would you like to see it going in the future? 
I think when I joined the EAG, it was really just a virtual named organisation with a very, well, I don't think people knew much about it at all. And I think when I was there, it was just going through a transition. Um, it was uh, firming up its relationship with the, chemi with the chemical society. Yes. It became um, the whole relationship with the EAG and running Goldschmidt Conference. That, that's been, so now I think it's much more visible, I think, it, um, and through, not just through the web page, but you know, I think a lot more people know about it. Okay. And I think it, it should become a, a sort of a force for geochemistry in Europe, not just uh, um, supporting young people, which I think is really important, to, whatever money it makes from, from Goldschmidt conferences uh -huh. should really go to supporting young people. But also on the political scene too, I think they could have a, mm. a more powerful um, mm. sort of position to... Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll try to work towards that. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Well, thank you very much for your time, Andrew. Thanks thank very you. much.